This single app has brought me over $17,000 in extra sales on my Shopify store. I'm talking about the Recart Messenger app, and if you're not using this app by now, you absolutely need to check it out. It is probably the best tool for increasing conversion rates and recovering abandoned carts by incorporating Facebook Messenger. So let's hop on the computer, and I'm gonna go through a tutorial on how to set this app up from scratch on your Shopify store today. Once we've downloaded the app in the Shopify store, we're gonna do a quick setup. Now the first page I already went through, I added some of my personal information, uh, which I don't want to share. I don't really want that out there, but it's just a quick email address, uh, phone number, and your name. Then we're gonna connect our Facebook page, which I have also done as well. Now make sure that you're connecting uh, not just your Facebook page, but the specific business page that relates to your Shopify store because uh, that is what your customers are going to see when you reach out to them in Facebook Messenger. So once we have that set up, we get to choose a couple of different options for how we are getting subscribers. And essentially what we need to do uh, is we do need to get our visitors to become subscribers in order to send them Facebook messages. If they do not subscribe, then we're not going to be able to send them messages and it's not going to increase our conversion rate. So I like to keep both of these on. Uh, basically, you can use a discount box and give them a coupon code if they subscribe. And you can also use customer chat. So if uh, they start a chat with you, you automatically subscribe them to your list. And this allows us to then later reach out to them in Facebook Messenger. Let's say they added a product to their cart but did not buy it, we can send them a little message in Messenger and reach back out to them and see if they want to buy that product later. Now here we have the option to set up a bunch of different automated campaigns and this is essentially uh, how the Recart app is going to increase our conversion rates and do a lot of work for us on our store that's going to build rapport with customers and drive more sales. So the first campaign is a welcome campaign and this just thanks people for signing up uh, and you know, tells them a little bit about us. It's a nice little introduction and it makes people feel welcome uh, in our store. The second campaign is actually my favorite and I've tested this campaign against Facebook retargeting ads and had significantly better conversion rates with the abandoned cart campaign. And what this does is if a customer adds a product to their cart in your store and decides to leave without purchasing that item, you reach back out to them in Facebook Messenger, this is all automated, and send them a message like this one right here. It shows them the product and asks them uh, if they're still interested in it. This is a great way to pull people back into your store and get a second chance at making this sale. Now, as I mentioned, I tested this against Facebook retargeting ads and had a much better conversion rate. So yes, uh, after your 30 day free trial is over, you do have to pay for this, but if you're going to invest uh, money in anything, this is one of those apps that I absolutely recommend paying for. There's very few that I actually can stand behind and say that uh, this app will add more value than what you pay. You will do significantly more than $28 a month uh, in increased profit margin by using this app, assuming you're making at least a few sales every single month. So another campaign that we have here is the order receipt. And this is a cool, uh, just, it's a nice little receipt that it sends out to your customers and you know, lets them know about the item that they purchased. This gives them a little bit of comfort because when you're buying from an online store, you obviously get that Shopify email notifying you that you made a purchase, but this is just one extra way of kind of reassuring them that the product is on its way. You know, people have a lot of skepticism about buying online, so this helps with that. And then you also can give them a nice little coupon code here, and it's just a sneaky way to try and get them back for that second sale. So then we have a fulfillment notification, and we can turn this on and just kind of let them know that the order has been shipped. Now, I also like using the product, uh, the photo reviews uh, automated campaign because this essentially gets builds reviews in our store, which is one of the best ways to kind of uh, show people that we have social proof, that people like our products and are using them. If we can get people to take pictures with them, then it's going to increase our conversion rate significantly on those product pages. This last campaign is an instant messenger campaign and I really like this uh, because essentially what we can do is we can create a promotion or we can launch a new product and we can let our subscribers know about it. We can reach out in messenger as soon as that product is launched. Uh, and you know, the hardest part about launching a product is letting people know. Normally what we would do is we would go on social media if we have an Instagram following and you know, create a post for that. Maybe do the same on Facebook, uh, but this is going People don't always see our posts when we post on Instagram. If you send a message directly to someone's inbox in Facebook Messenger, you are going to have uh, you know, significantly increased awareness from a campaign like this. 
So now that we have set up all of these campaigns, we can go ahead and go to our dashboard and kind of play around with the app a little bit. Now that we're in here in the dashboard, let's take a look at how we could set up our Recart Messenger app from scratch. So we already have the abandoned cart messenger set up. Uh, we do want to get the messenger welcome set up. This is important. And one of the highest converting uh, welcome messengers is Wheelio. And you may have seen this before in different Shopify apps, but essentially uh, you send a discount code to visitors who just spin the Wheelio wheel. And Wheelio is like a cool little pop-up that comes up and there's a bunch of prizes. You let customers spin the wheel and then they kind of see what they get. So let's take a look at how we would set up the Recart Messenger app from scratch on our store. And so through that initial process that we're walked through, we do have the abandoned cart messenger set up, but I do want to set up a couple of these other functions because they're going to be highly effective uh, in getting us more subscribers and converting those subscribers into sales. So the welcome messenger is one of my favorites and the highest converting option on here is the Wheelio uh, tool. And essentially what that does is a nice little pop-up comes up it's a spinning wheel with a bunch of different prizes. So customers go ahead and spin that wheel and uh, they become a subscriber for a chance to win one of those prizes. It converts up to 25% of website visitors, which is just a ridiculous number. But I also like having the discount widget on and you can really just pick and choose which one of these you like. Customer chat is nice. Uh, essentially, uh, we just encourage customers to ask different questions and they become a subscriber in return but really just plug and play. You can test some of these out, see what works best for you and your store specifically. I'm also going to turn on the WooHoo uh, boost conversion rate and by giving customers an automated discount message, uh, we think that they're going to in turn purchase more products from us because everybody likes a coupon code. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and do that and give our customers one. So let's head back over to the dashboard and see what else we can do with Messenger. So there are a couple of other uh, things that I want to show you guys how to set up before we go forward. And one of them is integrating photo reviews. So if we want to uh, integrate this, we're going to have to make sure that we've also downloaded and set up the looks photo review app, uh, which I already have gone ahead and done. Uh, if you haven't downloaded that yet and you're considering using it, I will leave another review of the looks photo review app for you guys, because there are multiple review apps out there and some other apps do also let you use photos. So I'll let you guys uh, kind of choose for yourself if you want to go that way, but it does integrate nicely with Recart, which is definitely a bonus to have. I'm also going to turn on messenger receipts uh, because I think this is a nice tool that our customers are really going to appreciate. You know, as I mentioned earlier, they do get an email, but an extra receipt just is going to make them all that much more comfortable with their purchase. Now I have not turned on the messenger fulfillment notification. Uh, and I honestly, it's up to you if you want to use it. I think that sending a receipt uh, upon purchase is enough. Uh, if your customers are asking a lot of questions about fulfillment, then you might want to turn this on. But personally, I think uh, it's just a lot of messages to send. So I like to kind of just pick and choose which are best for my store. So the last thing that I want to take a look at in this tutorial is how to set up an instant messenger campaign, because I really do love having this function. It's going to do a, a lot for our store. So in here, we can kind of choose which type of campaign we want to set up. And I like having a flash sale because flash sales are extremely high converting. And so what we can do is just have a 25% off everything today. And it gives us that scarcity uh, because, you know, it only lasts for one day. So customers know that they need to come in today and make that purchase if they want to go ahead and take advantage of this sale. So once we decide that we want to use the flash sale, we can go ahead and se select use this template uh, and continue our setup. So if we want to come in here and edit, uh, you know, images, select a different image for the flash sale image, we can go ahead and do that and change around a couple of things here. Uh, but personally, I think that the setup that they already have is going to work great. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this campaign and get it running. And we can look over here and kind of check a couple of different options. If we want it to be a news or promotional, uh, this is definitely a promotional campaign. And this means that subscribers have to be active for 24 hours in order to use it. Uh, and we can go ahead and choose from our settings here over in the notification setting. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, number one for notification settings because this is the most effective. Uh, it's going to send a sound and a lock screen uh, tab notification to our customers. And this is going to be the best for kind of creating that awareness about our flash sale. So let's go ahead and schedule that out so that we can have everything lined up 
uh, for a certain scheduled date when we want to start this promotion. And I want to run this promotion on June 11th. So on June 11th, we will schedule this promo to go live. And now we are set to go. So that covers most of the things that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, there are a couple of integrations that I really kind of like to push because these are popular apps that also kind of work with the Recard app and can be included to boost conversion rates. Uh, as we looked at earlier, the Wheelio app is a really big one, but also Optimunk is kind of a cool app where you can convert, um, you know, ab abandoned cart visitors and kind of resell them on store before they leave and try and get them back. Uh, to purchasing your items. So once we start sending out uh, these abandoned cart messages, we will be able to track all of our stats in here, see how many people abandoned carts, uh, if we got their emails, if they are subscribers, what the value of that cart was, and what the status, uh, see if it's been recovered, and kind of go from there to see what percentage of these abandoned carts are being recovered and how effective this app is going to be. And from past experience, I know that you guys are going to get very good results here. So I absolutely recommend using the free trial, testing this out because uh, this is going to be one of the most effective conversion rate enhancing tools out there.